Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Thayer Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. Got the white pieces. I'm playing the London system setup, starting with d4. Bishop comes on f4 before closing the diagonal for the bishop. Because if you move the pawn forward, then your dark square bishop becomes a vulnerability. And you just keep thinking where to develop it. Because you will have to then play pawn to b3 eventually. Which you generally don't prefer playing immediately. Now I'll come back with the bishop because knight is backing, of course. He proceeds with the pawn. Maybe he'll try to proceed it further as well, but not now because I can take, of course. And he loses a free pawn. But now we can go ahead with the knight or the other bishop. Anything is fine. And counter attack is always nice. Okay. Can even go with pawn forward straight away if I feel like. Mm, I just want to pressurize this point somehow and to do that I need my knight out maybe knight here knight here and then he plays pawn forward okay let's attack the knight first he goes back um, now we can go ahead with the other knight eventually attacking the pawn It's a beautiful diagonal to be exploited though. But bishop is already eyeing the good side. So we are good already, I think. If we analyze from computer straight away, I'll be ahead. And more so now because a couple of attackers there. So pawn forward is the only move. And I can come back. Looks fine to me. I'm eyeing this diagonal as well with the bishop. Can play pawn forward, connect both the knights eventually. Um, I'll go here with the bishop attacking the knight. If he goes here, then I have to take here or I have to come back. Taking would be bad because he gets to open up the file also for the attack after castling. Okay. If he takes, I can take back with a pawn. Should not be a worry to me. I'll go ahead. Maybe I could have pinned the knight. Could have been a better move. Yeah, because if he tries to remove the pin, I can then take on a pawn. After taking maybe. Yeah. Can still go for it if he doesn't see that coming. The idea was to go on with the knight on f3 so that you can just defend both your pieces with the knight and make sure knights are active. Knights are critical pieces in chess. Attacks the bishop. Uh, I can attack the king for now. Let's see if he tries to get in between with the bishop. He does. Um, I can take here. He takes back with the queen. Or the knight takes with the queen. I can kick this knight away, or I should just move my knight first, otherwise, a check can spoil my casting rights too. So I'll go here in the center, trying to go towards actually the center, not this, not the center. Knight f3 is nice, and he lands into a fork. Castling queen side. All of a sudden can lead you to folks. So you lose rook there for sure. I'll kick him away from here as well. Goes back to here. I can take as well. Or I can let him take and then again replace with my knight over there. Which would be nice. 
handle of my queen meanwhile asking him to still take if he really wants to does so and i'll go with the knight knight is planted here solid and nice which he can try and remove by playing bishop but he doesn't and lands into another folk thankfully for me Just trying to make my life simple maybe i'll take here go over here trying this and this that is not supposed to be done right now though i can come back purple is done now king and queen are in front i can start placing pawns forward and bury him with the attack you can try and break open the center doesn't that's bad because he ideally should have we are not stopping till we reach the end place pawn forward now i think and that gives me some space to maneuver my queen queen if comes here that's checkmate and one unless he can get back the knight and then attack okay i'll just kick his bishop backwards first otherwise also i can take a pawn here at least not a bad move pawn is going if he gets the knight back or oh, he gets the queen instead which saves both okay i appreciate that move i think i should just move up and then start going ahead with all the pawns you can play pawn forward as well let's see that blocks actually everything if he doesn't do n percent if he does i can take back okay which means now my king is okay do i need to castle i think i should castle because his pieces are not going anywhere i can double up maybe sack a piece now this doesn't hurt you can always come here attack he comes there i go up you can attack my rook as well again i do a rook lift but his queen is stuck there that's the whole point which we will take to try to take advantage of throughout the game can afford to have a pawn loss as well i'm plus four already in the game ahead in time as well can play pawns forward slowly break things open up can even play this pawn so that i can take he takes i take back the queen that's the idea once he moves the knight so he does and now he's backing the pawn so i can push forward uh there's no threats no threats no threats just cross verifying once can come here no you can't i can take can't come here too because i'll take with the rook and his king will be the wide opened up he still does bad for him i would say because if this goes to an end game i am winning this for sure i give a check if i need to i don't need to i'll just get my rook active now play pawn this is disastrous for him i think he should resign by now there's no pawn breaks happening here on solid at my side his queen cannot move and i'll just push my pawns forward okay i'll take the pawn he can not take really because that's mate so i'll just push it forward to a point where he has to take and he loses the bishop here that's a check side steps um let's go up for a safety purpose can come here as well why did you resign okay because checkmate was coming now 19 seconds on the clock remaining for the opponent and how did we pressurize this i think everything went ahead with the solid opening that we played and that was fast on the clock as well d4 knight f6 bishop f4 he moving the same piece again in the opening always a bad idea gives me more tempo and then he plays pawn forward which is f5 which is very weak 
I can go for a center, but I didn't straight away by playing e3. Then I played bishop on c4, attacking the knight. Knight now goes back. So lots of repetitive moves there by the opponent. And then I went ahead with the knight attacking the pawn, which is safeguard. So I come back. And then I try to pin the knight, attack the knight there, not pin. And opponent can take, but doesn't. And then I just try to give a check first. Oh, I could have taken this. Hmm, I missed it. This would have been amazing because now he cannot take, otherwise lose the queen. So he has to move. And after he does, check is coming from either ways, which can be a fork as well from here. Wow, that, that would have been nice. I didn't see that. Damn, I could have done this and then probably take this. I would have taken. He takes back and I'll take this. And then what? He can take a pawn. Okay, so he has also got a fork. That's why computer was suggesting to go towards the other side. But still, if you see, this is 2.3 in favor of uh, white, which is good enough. So instead in the game, I took on the bishop, which he takes back with the queen. And then I went with knight on uh, f3. He castled on the queen side, which lands him into a fork. And then he loses a rook. And then I played pawn forward, pushing him backwards. And then queen goes there. He does take the bishop as well, which I take back with a knight, centralizing it. Again, my opponent lands into a fork. So a couple of good forks here with the knight. He does take again. And then we try to tie the pawn, which he safeguards. We come back. The idea was simple to place queen there and just march ahead with the pawns. And once he did play the move, I went ahead. And he doesn't bother about that. So I played pawn forward first, he goes back, then queen on the right square, and he defends it with queen to c8. And now I can just break things open, but I went with, by closing these things on one side of the board so that my king is safe. And then I tried to attack, making sure the king is first safe, but all is a good idea. And then he goes to a wrong square, uh, just offering me knight for a rook. And I took it because his king will be wide open from there on. Uh, actually, uh, I can go here as well on the A file. The idea is to just gobble the pawn no matter what happens here. So actually can't do much about the situation, just move the bishop. So say he plays this and I take, uh, what can he do here? Because this would be mate and one. So I didn't see that on the first one, wondering why so, but then yeah. I played pawn forward, took the pawn, and then proceeded with the pawn. And he takes, he loses the bishop there, and then he goes back. Just move the king ahead, and then he lands into a nasty problem, which is placing its queen on b8. And its mate in two cannot be stopped because after I keep here, the only move, legal move, is to move the queen in between, which leads to a quick checkmate eventually with. Queen and rook on the board, pawns all closed from on the king side. So yeah, pretty much good here. We controlled the game entirely and thanks to the wonderful opening because we were too solid and fast in the opening, we could get this advantage in our favor and could have actually converted it more over here where I could have taken the pawn first, which is nasty again. If he goes here, I can give a check from the other side and after he does move, I can take the bishop or any the knight as well. So some exchanges happening would mean that eventually I can just save my knight as well out of the mess. And his bishop would be eventually hanging whatever he does next. So I suppose he's trying to just attack my pawn. Here I can castle or I can even play pawn forward. I don't mind doing that. But then problem is he comes in. And then he has to, he spoils my casting when I move. And then, yes, he can push forward. I can even take, I don't mind exchanging when you're, you are ahead in the game. Yes, he can take back, but what beyond that? Because a queen will also land in here. And then he has to save with the queen. Queen is babysitting. I can play pawn forward. And you don't have much options remaining now. So if you, if you move the king or get the rook behind, I'll take this with the pawn first, or maybe even the queen. So that queens are off the board, I can do that. And the best move is to take with the queen. And if that happens, it's a clear cut winner who's winning from here because yeah, two rooks uh, versus two rooks and a knight. 
and a couple of extra points. So yeah, no brainer there, no rewards for that. And then that's a checkmate pretty much quick, lining up both the rooks, just closing some files, and you will see a quick checkmate from there on. So be fast on the opening, save some time, and then you can nail it. Whenever you feel like having time in the game, you can just calculate once and then ruin your opponent's life to the core. I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to our channel if you haven't already by now. And do give a thumbs up to the video as well. That keeps me motivated putting these videos on a regular basis. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.